Yo, what's going on, Senpai Squad? Welcome back to a brand new video, and today we've got the review for Black Clover Chapter 200. 200 chapters, and we're still only in the first main saga of the story. That is absolutely nuts. Jesus. Anyway, so this chapter focused heavily on the complete parallel that Asta and Patry are currently in, which also was highlighted right at the start of the chapter, actually on the colour page itself. Asta and Patry are both doing the same thing, obviously reading the story, but they're on opposite sides. You know, actually, being the one to bring them together, as is obviously part elf so deep down he shares the distraught feelings of both Asta and Patry. Patry when you think about it is actually what Asta could have been and Asta actually acknowledges this in the chapter when Patry is explaining to him how Asta could never understand what Patry and the elves have been through when and Asta immediately proves this wrong. He does this by likening the situation from way back then, what was it like, hundreds of years ago with the elves, to what Patry is actually doing to them right now. Explaining how how much everybody loved the Wizard King and, and now that he's been taken away from them, and obviously much, much more has also been taken away from them at the hands of Patry, that this situation they're in, albeit slightly different, it comes with the same distinguished anger and sadness and sorrow and consequences to what the elves experienced long, long ago. The elves are doing what they believe to be right, or Patry is doing what he believes to be right, what he's led to believe to be right, when actually he is being no better than what the humans, the royals did way back then. And obviously now, knowing that it was actually the, the devil himself that perpetrated it all right from the beginning with his little puppet masters. I can't wait to see how Asta breaks the news to everyone else about Julius's death because obviously I believe apart from Yami and Marx, actually no not even Marx because he was an elf at the time, other than Yami I don't really think anybody else actually knows about Julius just yet which is crazy because it's probably been like over a year since that actually happened in, in real life so yeah, that's crazy. But when I first actually read the chapter, I was slightly disappointed that Asta didn't react more or, or at least tell anyone after returning back to normal. But then I realised that Asta's actually being incredibly smart in not telling anybody, which is something maybe you wouldn't associate with Asta, you know, smart. And he is a bit of a derpy guy, but, you know, let's let's face it, most battle shown and MCs aren't the smartest tools in the shed that that that's that's not how the saying goes but <laughs> regardless Asta's being extremely intelligent by doing all this keeping it low because he knows if he tells someone especially someone like Nozel what Pantry has done to the Wizard King killing him then he knows that Nozel is going to snap Nozelle, or anybody like Nozelle, most people in the Clover Kingdom, pretty much all of the captains would kill Patry on sight. Which, to be honest, he was going to do anyway at the start of this chapter before Yuno interjected regardless. Also, as we're talking about Yuno, god damn, his elf marking is so huge now. It's, it's the most obvious I've noticed it over these last few chapters since it actually happened and I just I love how it's actually heightening some of his more elf-like instincts which it, it, he he explained how he actually knew that William's body was what Patry was using because I didn't actually catch on to it at first I was like how how does he know you know but it's been explained that the elf inside of him technically is basically it, it's like a, an extra sense it's like a sixth sense to you know that is letting him see the world as the elves see it and that's somehow regardless allowing him to sense William's body essentially inside Patry or or the other way around and the inevitable kind of happened in this chapter and that was that Patry was redeemed or at least 
somewhat redeemed anyway. One thing that I actually loved from this chapter, and probably the thing I loved the most about this chapter, was that Asta didn't just straight up forgive Patry, which is something so many shonen characters do to the bad guy, you know. Bad guy kills millions of people, says, Oh, I'm sorry. And the, and the main character's like, Oh, oh, guys, he's apologised. He's apologised. He can't really do anything now. He, pff, you're a good guy. You're a best friend. Come to our Christmas party. Yeah, Asta doesn't do that. One thing that Asta did is he understood Patrick, but he didn't forgive Patrick. And there's a difference. Asta understands why Patry is doing what he's doing. He understands the hatred and the pain that he's ensuing. However, Asta is never, ever going to accept that as a reason to forgive all of Patry's actions. Meaning, even to Asta's understanding eye, Patry is still far from a good guy right now. He is just a guy that someone like Asta can use to help their kingdom and like i said that's that's the favorite thing i can leave with this chapter i, I thought that was the, the highlight of it all because it did a lot for Aster's character also one th quick thing one obvious thing i want to quickly mention is patry's dark eye now this i might have to hand the senpai seat over to you guys for this one because I'm not too sure what it's referring to. I'm presuming that Patry is kind of part Dark Elf as well. He still has a bit of Dark Elf within him. Probably been able to use the Dark Light magic, I think it was called. Something along those lines. But yeah, you guys are going to have to explain that one to me a little bit more. You know, you guys are going to have to help, help me here. Because I, I'm not too sure. I have my ideas, but I'm not too sure what it's trying to signify. So yeah, handing the Senpai seat over to you guys. Go. Let me know what that's all about. But anyway, thanks so much for watching the video. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already to become a member of the Senpai Squad. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys in another video. But until then, peace.